Hey everyone, Swamp Fox here. Time to talk about hunters. Um, overall, they were changed quite a lot uh, from uh, Draenor. Uh, Blizzard's focus was to make three distinct uh, specs, and pretty sure they delivered. They changed survival to a melee character, moved some of the abilities over to marksmanship, and made Beastmaster more beast mastery, if you will. <laughs> All right, let's move on to Beast Mastery. Uh, overall, the spec hasn't changed too much, but there's a lot more emphasis on the pet as uh, damage uh, dealer. A Cobra Shot has now a spender as opposed to a generator for focus. Dire Beast still does the same thing, but it's going to be a little bit lower cooldown so that it, you can use it more often in the rotation. Uh, kill command uh, spends focus and causes your primary pet to deal a larger amount of damage. So that's two spenders. Uh, multi shot range attack that spends focus hitting your target and all nearby enemies and causing your primary pet's attacks to hit multiple targets. That's just changed a little bit so your pet does an AoE attack. Uh, Bestial Wrath is a cooldown ability that causes you and your primary pet to deal increased damage for the duration. Little, you know, pull down buff for you. And aspect of the wild. Leave there. Uh, ability with a long cooldown that causes you and your primary pet to have increased critical strike chance and focus generation for its duration. Uh, it's going to be neat to see the uh, uh, increased emphasis on pets. All right, let's move on to Beastmaster's talents. Uh, Two that stand out most to me. Uh, they're bringing back Chimera Shot. A two-handed shot that hits your primary target and another nearby target dealing 4k nature damage to one and 4k frost damage to the other. Generates 10 focus for every target hit. I missed Chimera Shot. Granted, it used to give you health, so it's neat to see it change a little bit. And uh, Dire Frenzy. Causes your pet to enter a frenzy, performing a flurry of five attacks on the target and gaining 30% increased attack speed for eight seconds, stacking up to three times. Now, for those hunters that will remember, that used to actually be a pet ability for, like, cats and, and uh, other uh, ferocity pets, which was kind of nice. So I'm glad that they're bringing that back via talent. All right, on to marksmanship spec. Uh, they definitely wanted to keep the emphasis off of the pet and more on the shooting abilities. Uh, so I, I think they did a pretty good job. Uh, Arcane Shot now doesn't spend focus. It generates focus. Uh, Aimed Shot still spends focus. It hasn't really changed at all. Uh, there's a new ability called Marked Shot. Ranged attack that spends focus to deal damage to all targets with Hunter's Mark. Multi-shot, this has changed for the better, I think, at least for marksmanship hunters. Ranged attack that hits your target and all nearby enemies generating focus per hit. So that's a, probably going to generate a hell of a lot of focus. Uh, bursting shot, short ranged attack with cooldown that spends focus to damage all targets in front of you and knock them away. So a shotgun, pretty much. And, of course, hunter's mark. Passive. Auto attacks have a chance to cause your next arcane or multi shot to apply Hunter's Mark, activating Marked Shot. It's going to be neat to. So, pretty much the rotation is going to be to keep Hunter's Mark up and use Mark Shot to you know, get the proc off. All right, on to the Marksman uh, talent. Uh, the two that most stand out that are just seem a little overpowered to me <laughs> are Careful Aim, which is the Passive at level 15. Aim shot, arcane shot, marked shot, and multi shot have 20% increased critical strike chance against targets above 80% health. And those critical strikes deal an additional 30% damage over 8 seconds. So that's a pretty strong dot early on, you know, for, for burst damage. And the second one is piercing shot, a powerful shot which deals up to. 40k physical damage to the target and up to 20k physical damage to all enemies between you and the target. This would be really nice for AoE fights and I could see it being utilized in PvP pretty 
pretty interesting. On to Survival, which is definitely the most overhauled spec for Hunter. Uh, they are completely melee now and are the only uh, spec that can use traps. Uh, they still use their pet, though. Uh, their main ability is called Mongoose Bite, a melee attack that deals increasing damage the more time you use within a short window. So you want to be able to spam that. Flanking Strike, melee attack where you and your pet both attack the target. Seems to be like a cooldown one. Uh, lacerate, melee attack that deals damage over time. So not to keep up. Raptor Strike, melee attack that spends focus. That's literally the only thing I've got. It's not much. It's a filler spell, it sounds like. Carve, melee attack that spends focus to hit all enemies in front of you. A little bit of AoE. And Explosive Trap, the ability that launches a trap Ability that launches a trap which explodes when approached by an enemy dealing damage over time in the area. So this seems to be the, you know, spam carve and explosive trap for you. On to survival talents. Now these will be interesting, uh, but the two that stand out that I like the most are throwing axes, because throwing axes uh, tosses three axes at the enemy, each dealing 10k physical damage. It's an instant cast, so it's not channeled, so that'd be kind of nice. And the 100 talent, Spitting Cobra, summons a Spitting Cobra for 30 seconds that attacks your targets for 807 nature damage every 2 seconds. While the Cobra is active, you gain an extra 3 focus every 1 second. So that'll be nice because you can spam Mongoose Bite that much more. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the uh, video. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll have more Legion content up prior to the launch. and I'll. Pump out even more after launch.